Hi, I'm Justin, and I have a message for you today. Uh, God's put on my heart this message, and it taught me this lesson in my walk with Christ. And I, I want to share this with you today. You know, it's probably a safe assumption that you, everyone out there has given themselves a label which they've accepted a part of who they are. Uh, now today, I'm going to be completely transparent with you to show you the power of how labels can ultimately change a person's life. You see, when I was 10 years old, my mother tried to take her life in front of me with a kitchen knife. I acted quick and got help in time, but ultimately a relationship between a mother and son was fractured that day. But unknowingly, something even more damaging and powerful happened that day. A victim was born. You, you may say, hey, you didn't deserve this to happen to you, and you were only 10 years old. It's okay to be a victim. Well, you see, I lived life for the next 15 years as the victim. I walked around thinking I was broken and unfixable. I was angry, depressed, scared, and I didn't trust anybody. And I started to use drugs and alcohol to make me feel better. I used this label as an excuse to continue to abuse my body and any time I was asked why I used or drank heavily, I was the victim. This self-label became who I was. And any chance I could to empower this self-label, I took it. I went to the extent of even joining a men's trauma group. Which every week I could sit down with other guys who called themselves victims. I left these group sessions feeling good that I was able to talk about my past with men that would understand me. But if anything, it just strengthened my label I called myself, the victim. It wasn't until one day while I was on the phone with my grandfather that my life would change forever. He told me, Justin, you are not a victim anymore. In fact, you are a victor. He went further to say that I was also a hero for saving my mother's life. Wow. This small but significant change in my thinking ultimately made a huge difference in my life. I, was, I started to walk around with pride and dignity, and I seen myself as a warrior, a hero, and a strong individual. Now there was only one problem. It's, gr it's great that I no longer see myself as a victim, but a victor. But unfortunately, because of my bad choices I made to deal with the pain of being a victim, all those years, I have now labeled myself an addict and a criminal. I was no longer a victim, but now I was completely addicted to drugs and alcohol, and I began to do criminal activity to feed this addiction. I was an addict and a criminal. I looked at myself as these labels for a long time, and any time I could to empower these labels, I took it. I've overdosed three times, brought back to life, Spent five years of my life behind bars. And it wasn't until I gave my life to Christ, my life would soon again change forever. One day, I was in church listening to a, a preacher, and during his sermon, the Lord spoke to me. He said, Justin, my son, you are not an addict or a criminal anymore, but in fact, you are a child of God. Wow! You're telling me that I am a child of God? The one that created all things? That I was made in His image? It's amazing how the power of labels can ultimately change a person's life. It's the difference between overcoming an obstacle and being stuck in an obstacle. Now before I close, I would like to leave you with one thought. Don't let the labels of this world define who you are as an individual. God created you to do great things in this world. He didn't want you to squander this by believing the lies the enemy has told you about yourself. So I hope this encourages you today. Um, this, this, this has taught me a lot about myself. And I hope this gives you hope in what Christ can do for you. God bless you.